Every day we come into contact with items like these, charging cords and earphones. But a new study out of the University of Toronto suggests many products on the market today contain chemicals that were banned in Canada 10 years ago. In this university chemical lab, Drs. Huey Peng and Stephen Katarna are two members of a team that have been studying chlorinated paraffins, used to make plastics softer and more movable. The impacts to humans haven't been studied a lot, but... There have been some studies on rats showing that they are carcinogenic and possibly neurodevelopmentally toxic. It's similar enough to compounds that we know are toxic that we're concerned. The team at U of T wanted to see if Canadians are being exposed. We were surprised at the number of products that we found them in. We, we thought they'd be in a few, but they're in far more than we expected. They cut plastic samples from 96 items similar to one seen here, toys, cords, and household accessories, and they said their analysis showed almost 85% had short-chain chlorinated paraffins. These compounds are generally considered toxic, uh, so especially with the prevalence in children's toys uh, was concerning. Toxicity is not very well studied, but uh, the main danger is for kids basically eating parts of the toys. Even just chewing on the plastics raised a concern for these scientists. They didn't release a specific list of items tested, but added the highest concentrations that might spark more worry were in just 10% of the products. Based on the findings, Katarna said two things need to happen. One direction is a development of the methods to make it more easy to test for these. It's relatively easy to detect these compounds, but it's very difficult to quantify them, actually get the exact concentrations. Noting it takes very expensive instruments to do the necessary testing, but also... Enforcement of the regulations that we do already have in place. City News asked Environment and Climate Change Canada about the study's findings and what action is being taken to crack down on these chemicals, but we didn't receive a response by airtime. We'll have more on the study's findings at citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.